taking apart the iris copter so I can replace these arms and I've got the new arms right here so the first thing is taking off the gimbal if you do have one there's just two screws and it just comes right off and then I'm going to use this allen key take off every single one right here Now that we have everything unscrewed, we can flip it over and take off the top canopy. And there's four screws on each leg, so there's a 16 screws total. And we're going to unscrew them, and we'll be able to take off the legs from there. Now we want to loosen these three plastic screws so we can get to the other four screws that are attaching the arm. And once we get that off, we'll be able to loosen those four metal screws. We want to loosen the two screws that are on the bottom of the motor. And we just want to go all the way around until we have all those screws loosened. And then we'll have to cut the wires and put on the new arms. Put the screws on the motor and then put the four same screws on each arm. And just put everything back together like I disassembled it. Flip it back over. Make sure the ESC wires are properly going underneath the copter arm. Put all the same screws back in the holes on the bottom. And once we're done with that, everything's closed up and nice and tight. And the last thing we need to do is solder the wires all back together. It's a very painful thing and I'm kind of frustrated that we have to do it. But it is what it is. Click on It's Not My Fault and see exactly why I'm frustrated with this Iris Copter. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos.